Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Many of us right now are staying at home and I got so many requests from you guys for a simple, easy stay at home recipe and I thought, let's make some comfort food. One of my all time favorite comfort food recipes, chocolate chip cookies and not just any cookies you guys. I wouldn't do that to you. These are the best chocolate chip cookies in the entire world. I'm gonna stand by that because this recipe took me one year to develop. And some of you may be thinking, Ro, a year? That's crazy. And you would be right. This is the recipe from my very first cookbook, Nerdy Nummies Cookbook, the basic recipe, and I wanted it to be perfect. So every week I would do another batch of cookies and go, mm, this one needs a little bit more salt. Mm, this one needs more brown sugar. And I would just play with the recipe and finally after a year, I got it. Not only is the taste perfect, but it is a texture thing too, especially with chocolate chip cookies. This cookie satisfies all my friends, regardless of their cookie texture preference. The ones who like more chewy, love it. The ones who like a little crunchy, love it. This is love. And if you like to watch baking videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Now, let's make the best chocolate chip cookies ever. Let's get started. For this chocolate chip cookie recipe, I'm gonna be posting all of the ingredients and their measurements in the description down below. So if you wanna follow along at home, you can. All right, first step to making these cookies, very simple. We're gonna to mix together some dry ingredients in a medium bowl. You're gonna combine your flour, baking soda, and salt. Salty, salty. Then whisk together until well combined. All right, it's well mixed now. I'm gonna set this off to the side. Next, in a big mixing bowl, we're gonna cream together our butter, sugars, and a little bit of vanilla extract. Pro tip, you wanna make sure your butter is at room temperature. It makes a big difference. You want it really soft when you're creaming together your butter and sugars. We're putting in two sticks of butter, 16 tablespoons. Oh, worth it. Add granulated sugar, brown sugar, which is the most important ingredient when you're making chocolate chip cookies. If you're not using brown sugar, it, in my opinion, is not a chocolate chip cookie. It just doesn't have that richness to it, that like caramely, that like, it's a sweet sugar with soul. This is what you want. If you don't have this, don't come to my house with chocolate chip cookies. I mean, I probably will have a few bites because I like cookies, but I love brown sugar. And a little bit of vanilla extract. Boop, boop, boop. Then you're gonna cream together until your mixture is light and fluffy. I'm gonna be using an electric hand mixer. Just makes it a little bit easier than doing it by hand. I'm gonna mix on a medium speed. Fun factoid, sidebar, a row rant. The reason brown sugar is brown, you know, there's light brown sugar, dark brown sugar, is because it's made with molasses, which is why it just tastes so good. Because molasses is what you use to make gingerbread cookies, which are like, <laughs> one of the best cookies in the entire world and they just have that rich flavor. It's almost just like caramely, like it's so good. So light brown sugar has a little less molasses and then dark brown sugar has more. I'm gonna get back to mixing here. I just had some rogue brown sugar clumping together, which it loves to do. It's a little stickier. So I'm just really breaking those up so I could get some light fluffy butter. Come on, Molly, this one's stubborn. Just toss it out. He's Toss out the brown sugar? Wow. Never. Never. Never! I need every chunk of molasses I can get. Was there a molasses area when you played candy cane that game? Molasses Mountain, Molasses Valley, Molasses. Let me know in the comments below if you know this. You're maybe we'll beat Mike or Molly here. They're looking it up on Google. When you're playing the board game Candyland, what was that little molasses area called on like the original? It was a molasses swamp. Swamp? With a guy named Gloppy. Oh, he's terrifying. Gloppy? He looks kind of poopy. I remember all of them being so cute. He's a scary one? He's what does he look? Molly, show me a picture of this. More licorice is kind of interesting too. Let me see. Oh, Molly's swamp. so cute! What do you mean? Gloppy looks adorable. Look at him, he's cute! <laughs> okay, we gotta put a picture of Gloppy up right here. Gloppy's so cute. Who's this licorice guy you're talking about? Licorice. 
Ooh, Lord Licorice, he looks like a villain. Molly, you'd probably date him in your bad boy phase. Oh! <laughs> I'm not saying Mo had a bad taste in men. I'm saying there weren't a lot of options available. Ooh, yeah, I'm done. Um, I'm done, oops, I'm done spilling the tea and the cookie dough, so let's get to mixing now. Molly, can we get back to baking or whatever? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ooh, this is looking good. Look how light and fluffy. This looks like a brown sugar butter cloud that I want to bathe in or sleep in or cuddle. <sighs> Okay, this is looking good. Also, one more tangent, I promise, little baby Gray is learning how to bake and it is so adorable. So go check out my sister's Instagram. It is so cute. He's like one and a half and he's already making like little cupcakes and stuff. He's baking with grandma, it's so cute. Mm -hmm. It's adorable, he's like a little baby baker in the making and I love it. Okay, so go check it out. I'm getting distracted by cute babies. Okay, back to cookies, back to cookies. This is, this is important. Now we're gonna add and mix in two full eggs, the yolk and the egg white, one at a time. So you're gonna add one, mix it up, add the other one, mix it up. I did a double-handed egg crack because I don't wanna mess these up at all. I. Mike, it's not worth the risk. Yeah, you can't be too safe. No, one at a time, one at a time. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my God, I'm on autopilot. Oh my gosh, I get to cracking eggs and you just can't stop me. I'm just like, Adam, whew, that was a close call. I almost messed up my perfect cookie recipe. Thanks, Mike. Wow. Look at you, little baking apprentice. <laughs> These are like real loose. They're like, <laughs> Oh my gosh, here we go. And honestly, I gotta get that white in there, a little bit of white fill in there. Okay, here we go again. I'm gonna do a scrape down as well, cause I'm not messing around with these cookies. We're getting all those ingredients. This batter is looking great. On a low speed, while you're mixing, slowly add in the dry ingredients. I'm gonna do this with a little measure cup. I'm not measuring anything, I'm just using it as a little scoop while I'm mixing. Just keep going until you've added all the flour and it's well combined. Little scoop, mix it in. This is to get the perfect consistency. I also promise this is the only part in the recipe where you have to be a little patient. But there's no decorating or anything, so I think it all evens out. Fold in our chocolate chips. 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 So if you haven't guessed, the next step is... <laughs> Last step is to fold in our chocolate chips. So just pour all of them into a big bowl. Then using a spatula or a large mixing spoon, you're just gonna fold them in. Here's how you fold. It's a little bit different than mixing. We don't wanna chop up our chocolate chips. We wanna keep them whole, so we fold more gently. So you're gonna take your spatula and go underneath the batter, and then bring it over like so, whoop, and turn. Under, over, turn. And you just keep doing this till all the chocolate chips are in the dough. Oh my gosh, this smells and looks so good. I just want to eat this. Oh! Eating fresh cookie dough is one of my guilty pleasures. I am restraining myself right now. I'm not gonna do that today, but I also have a delicious vegan cookie dough recipe, and it's made so you can just eat them as little cookie dough. Molly, you remember that recipe? Oh, they're so good. Cookie dough bites. Yeah, I don't wanna blow Mike up, but <sighs> Mike was like, oh, I don't want any vegan cookie dough. That's not gonna taste good. I mean, and he had one. Bored? How does it blow my gut? What? What's Blow, blow uh, him up, blow uh, him up. I thought you said blow my gut. I don't want to <laughs> blow my gut. That's what you said. You said what? <laughs> I said blow, blow I my gut. Blow my gut, but. <laughs> I don't want you to blow your gut either. Is so okay, I, I was trying to say I didn't want to blow you up, but oh my gosh. So anyways, I wasn't gonna blow my gut, but I'm doing it. Boom little bit right now is I made uh, vegan cookie dough 
and you're supposed to eat it in the little ball forms. And Mike ate one, he was like, I guess these are okay. I was like, okay, they're delicious. And then I go to the fridge the next morning, all 20 of them that I had in a little bag in the fridge, gone. I left one. Michael, you one didn't. Ball. You ate a half-eaten ball, so I don't even think that counts. And I was like, where did all these cookie balls go? And Mike's like, uh, and I was like, oh, you loved them. And he was like, okay, I liked them, I liked them. I was like, oh. <laughs> Mike liked a vegan recipe. Well, don't worry, Mike. There's gonna be plenty more where that came from in the future, but today, classic, the best chocolate chip cookies ever made. So you'll just have to settle for this. Oh my gosh, what happened here? Get in the bowl, we can't have this. She said blow Mike up. Yeah, what did you guys think I said? Blow, blow my, my gut. Blow my gut? <laughs> Look at Maybe we have to replay it. We need a replay, we need an instant replay like a referee like in sport games. We need to really review the footage. Did I say I don't wanna blow Mike up but, or did I say I don't wanna blow my gut but? I don't wanna blow Mike up, but blow Mike up, but you guys are messed up. Okay, I don't think I said that. I don't think I said that. Can you imagine if you didn't say it and we're all we all misheard you. We all heard, misheard you twice. <laughs> well, you know what? Then it's just like my fault because like I can't talk. <laughs> like my communicating is so bad that you don't actually know what I'm saying. We were like, perfect. Give this girl a baking <laughs> show. We can't understand her. I don't want to blow my gut. But I don't want to blow my gut, but I'm so good at this. <laughs> Oh yeah, our chocolate chip cookie dough is totally ready to bake. Now we're gonna scoop two tablespoons of the dough onto a baking sheet and, whoa, I usually don't do this, but we're gonna be scooping them onto an ungreased baking sheet. Now I want to emphasize that these are non-stick sheets. If you don't have non-stick sheets, I would advise putting down a piece of parchment paper, but because these are non-stick sheets, no grease needed. These cookies have enough butter, they grease themselves, and I love it. <laughs> I scoop two tablespoons about two inches apart. Leave some room because they will expand. Also, this recipe makes about three dozen chocolate chip cookies, and it makes so many because everybody wants one, and you run out anyways. You make this, and then everyone's like, well, where'd all the cookies go? And I'm like, that's a great question, y'all. Where did all the cookies go? So that's why I made so many of this one, because it's good. The scoop that I'm using is two tablespoons. So I just scoop it up and get off the excess. Cause I don't know about you, but in our house, if someone got a bigger cookie than someone else, it's a big deal. All right, we got our little cookie. And you're just gonna fill up your tray. Boom, and now these delicious cookies are ready to bake. You're gonna heat your oven to 375 degrees and bake for about seven to nine minutes. They bake fast, so keep your eye on them and every oven's a little bit different. You wanna watch them and as soon as they turn a little bit golden brown, they're ready. Once your cookies have baked, you're gonna let your cookies sit on the tray for one minute to cool. And while they're on here, they're gonna continue to bake and you'll see a little bit of color difference. Over here, this is the perfect color that you want your cookie when you remove them from the oven. You'll see it's a really light brown. Then as they cool, like over here, they get a little bit darker. It's all about timing. In my oven, these cook for nine minutes, but it really depends on your oven. Ovens are so different, different brands, how they're set up, how they're ran. So just keep your eye on it. When they turn this color in the oven between seven and nine minutes, perfect. They have a little bit of crisp and softness. You get the best of both worlds and they also deflate a little bit. You'll see that they poof up when they bake and then as they're cooling, they kind of whoo, just go down a little bit. And ta-da, there you have it, the perfect chocolate chip cookie recipe. A big thank you to you guys for suggesting a simple, delicious at-home recipe. I really hope you enjoy this one. It is one of my all-time favorites. Best chocolate chip cookie recipe in the world. Also, this recipe is from my first cookbook, Nerdy Nummies, but I'm gonna make it available on my website and I'll be posting it down in the description down below so you all can enjoy. It is so 
good. I just can't express in words how good it is. I'll be posting lots of pictures and the recipe on my website and all over social medias. And if you guys make this recipe, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations. It just makes me happy. It makes my day. Oh, and don't forget to include hashtag row recipe or hashtag nerdy nummies so that I can find it. I like hearting and liking and seeing all your baking creations. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Let me know in the comments down below, what is your favorite kind of cookie? Mine, chocolate chip, and then for the holidays, it's gingerbread. Also, let me know what other kind of videos you'd like to see me make. I can't wait any longer, I have to have one. I'm standing over the smell and it's just so good. The texture, the slight, slight crisp with the soft. Oh yeah. These are so good, they make me happy dance. Mm! Mike is eyeing me like, when are we gonna end the video? Because I want one of those. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, bye you guys. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here. I may have chocolate all over my teeth. I'm sorry about that. But also, sorry not sorry, because these are delicious. Mm -hmm.